What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to take good photos of your coffee because that is the most important thing when it comes to being a photographer. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to be shooting on a 50 millimeter 1.4 prime lens on a Nikon D750. It does not matter what gear you're shooting on though because I'm also gonna take some photos on my iPhone and the same principles apply. Now the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do after you make your coffee is to find some good lighting. This my friend, this is some good lighting. Now originally this coffee machine was over there in the kitchen, which is very dark and it would still be nice lighting, but compared to this desk, does not compare, this one wins. So yeah, so right now I actually have the machine tilted a little bit towards the window. So now that we have our coffee, we're gonna place it right down in the middle as closest to the window, but keeping it so we have a nice frame to work with. Now we're gonna do some above shots, which is really nice because you can actually get the full look of the coffee. And it's a really good look for your Instagram photos because your Instagram likes determine your self-worth as a photographer. I haven't been getting many likes recently. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually, uh, instead of doing above photos, it's nice to actually get down low and shoot some cool angles of your coffee. This one's gonna emphasize a little bit more of the coffee cup. And in addition, you can shoot in between from shooting up and low, kind of in between, so you can see the top surface of the coffee. Now the next tip that you're gonna need when it comes to taking cake-ass photos of your coffee is a shallow depth of field. A shallow depth of field is so important. Now a reminder, if you just got a camera, a shallow depth of field is when only a little bit of your photo is in focus. Now to get a little bit of focus, you're gonna wanna shoot at your lowest aperture possible. This could be f1.4 like I'm shooting today. It could be f1.8, be f2.8, be f4, f5.6, depends on your lens. So now that you have found good light, you're shooting at a very shallow depth of field. Now it's time to play around. You know, you can get some lifestyle things and props into your photo. It could be uh, your laptop, it could be, you know, your sunglasses, anything that kind of emphasizes your lifestyle because, you know, your Instagram life is way cooler. Uh, you can just go down to the mall, buy some cool accessories, take photos of it, and then just never use it again because Instagram likes. So now that you've taken photos at all different levels, um, it's time to edit your photo. Now, if you don't have a theme right now on your Instagram, it's awesome to start thinking about a theme. Now, a great way to get a theme it's to develop a preset and then use that freaking preset on every single photo you use and adjust. Now some themes can be light and airy, it can be dark and contrasty, you can be adjusting skin tones a certain way, you can be having warmth in photos or cold, so really learn your style as a photographer and develop this. So let's bring this, these photos into Lightroom. Um, right now my, my color tones are a little bit more warmer and a little more contrasty and I bring out the oranges out a little bit. That's my preset. You guys can get my preset for free down below. Be sure to click that. Now the last step to taking coffee photos, you found good light, you're shooting at a low aperture so it looks creamy, it's out of focus in the background, it's really looking good. You've put on your killer preset on there. So the last step you want to do, post that baby on Instagram, hashtag coffee, hashtag photographer, now taking photos of coffee is actually a great way to practice getting good lighting, getting a good picture, practicing your aperture, getting a shallow depth of field, and then practicing your editing. So don't be ashamed. Um, and also like coffee is amazing. I love coffee. Be sure to like this photo if you guys liked it. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, drink up your coffee. Be sure to get the free presets below. And also be sure to like my coffee photo to get it to a thousand likes or I'll probably cry to bed tonight.